security let me back in this morning because I'm not sure if you heard or not. A gossip blog site started a rumor over the weekend <laughs> that I was getting fired and replaced by a white girl. What? <laughs> Look at that. Why does they have to use that picture? That's this ugly. is so funny to me. Oh my god. No, I didn't know it was coming. You know. Um, and I said, you know what? What happened was I ended up reposting that because yeah. I think yes. it's funny. I mean, I knew right. it wasn't true. Exactly. So I said, like, what white nowhere. girl could replace me? Like Chelsea Handler, Stacey Dash, you know, <laughs> Rachel Dolezal, you know? I was like, hey, you know, I was ready to call up Ellen and ask for my job back. You know, I used to work for Ellen. I'm like, Ellen, can I get my job oh, back? <laughs> but it's totally not true, you guys. It's totally not, not true. true. No. Where do they find this crap? something like that. We obviously live in the day and age of, uh, obviously, blogs don't have to have journalistic integrity. They can literally write anything. And people believe it. Yeah, but yeah. we as the people, we have to be smarter than that, you guys. Yes. You can't just believe everything yes. that you read. Literally, you could have a blog, name it, you know, South Side, and <laughs> write anything you want, yeah. and people will believe that. Yeah, I want to give a shout out, though, because there were some concerned celebs <laughs> in my life. Uh, Deion Sanders, he <laughs> sat up there. He was like, wait a minute, you know. Oh, thank you, Deion. Crazy. I love that. And also, Cheryl Underwood called me. I thought yeah. that was really nice from the talk. So thank sweet. you so much, oh, Cheryl. I appreciate nice. that. They actually sent us flowers this yeah, morning. Yeah, sure oh, my God. We, we love, love the ladies talk. They're we the Emmy. the Emmy. Yeah, yeah. that was so sweet. So, I'm see, when you win an Emmy, they're Thank gonna be guys. rumors. That's how you know you yeah. made it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was bored over the weekend. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If okay. anything ever happens as far as with me, you will find out on this show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. you worry. And thank you to all the fans. I appreciate you. We don't need any protest or boycotts. We all <laughs> fine here. All right. Now that we're all accounted for, who's uh. ready for some live girl chat? Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Ready. Yeah. Get it. Right. Make sure to head over to the real. Daytime's Instagram page. Use the hashtag GirlChatLive to join in on the conversation. Okay, now most people usually get paid at the end of the week, but we here at The Real, we thought it would be fun to give away some money on a Monday for a change. Come on! Yeah. Oh, yes! Turn yeah. money yeah. into a yeah. Yeah. Yes! So we decided to send our resident hunk, Marcel, back on the road to deliver our fans some cold hard cash. That's right, Marcel is coming to a city near you, which means it's time once again to hurry to the hunk. Yeah. Hey! Oh, wow. Or, did you see that? All right, yes. hey, let's see where Marcel is today. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Marcel, how are you? <laughs> well, what's up? What's up? <laughs> how are you guys? Love Marcel. Good. So as you can see, Marcel is taking his talents to South Beach, and he is coming to us live right now from Miami. Woo woo! All right, Marcel. My is good. Up. Grandma's there. <laughs> he is currently at the corner of 8th and Ocean Drive across from the Shore Park Hotel in Miami Beach. And I think he could use a little protection from that hot, hot sun. It does get hot there. Yes. So the first real fan to find Marcel and bring him sunblock will win a real swag bag and guess what, you guys? $1,000! Yeah. That's an easy win for that kind of money. Sunblock for that. Right? Yeah. That money. Okay, so if you're in Miami, hurry to our hunk ASAP. Please be safe and drive the speed yeah. limit. Yeah. Right. Come on for the second. The minute Marcel meets up with a fan, we'll break back into the show to congratulate our winner. Yes! That's oh, my get God. This. That's Welcome amazing. For sure. Well, speaking of congratulations that we're gonna be giving out, yeah. Tamara, yes. over the weekend you became an auntie again. Yes. 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 I sure did. Your yes. twin sister Tia and her husband Corey gave birth to their second child, a beautiful, oh. healthy baby girl. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh. oh, that is amazing. Oh, cute. And my sister looks fly, doesn't she? Yes, and her she does. Does. But that's when you have a baby, she looks yes. incredible. All right, what was it like meeting your niece for the first time? You guys, she is absolutely stunning. Oh. And perfect in every way. Um, she was six pounds, four ounces. She's very petite, um, but she's so, she's so girly. Everything symmetrically is like perfect. Oh, wow. um, and Aiden already had this sense to be protective. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were talking and she was sleeping and Aiden was like, shh, shh, 
Yes. <laughs> I love it. The baby it. is sleeping. Araya hasn't met her yet, but we're definitely going to meet her uh, together this week. And I can't oh. wait to see Araya's oh. reaction. Awesome. Can you imagine those two walking yes. down yeah. the street together? Oh, yes. my goodness. You can already picture their play dates, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. So, her Tamara, is did you yes. get any vibes from that? You know, What like, do you mean? Baby you and, vibes. Yeah. Uh, no. You uh, and... Why'd you think about it for a second? Because I am think. You guys always put me, like, on the spot, so I feel like That's pressure. Cause... My sister did <laughs> say this, though, and I think I might have changed my mind a little bit. Oh. Um, she said this pregnancy was completely different than the first one. Uh -huh. It was a lot harder. And she thinks it was because, you know, you're getting older. We're getting older. We're, we're 39. Oh. We'll be 40, you guys, July 6th. Dang. That is yeah. insane to think that yeah. the girls of Sister Sister are going to be 40. is so know. cute. Yeah. But yeah, they have a beautiful boy, now a beautiful girl. And I'm just so, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to see her again uh, today because I miss her. Oh. Yeah. She, she is precious, you guys. So when you awesome. said Araya oh, and the new baby girl, all I think of is Sister Sister, the next generation. Oh, it's oh, happening. Yeah. 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 It's happening. Oh, sure. And you guys. I mean, yeah, she's just stunning. She's stunning. And who I does love she how look close like? you raise your kids. Oh, who does she? She's actually a perfect mix between Corey and Tia. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, like, she'll turn her face this way, and she looks completely like Tia. Yes. I was like, man, Tia, you had yourself. Like, yeah. literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then another angle, you know, she looks like Corey. Oh, wow. So, but perfect. for some reason, I just enjoy that all babies look real Asian in the beginning. No. She, <laughs> she does. Like, wait, you guys, she she does wear this. But, but we do have one percent Asian in us. Yes. We did that DNA thing, and 1%. that one percent came through when Araya yeah. was born. Yes, yes. 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 Araya yes. looks in Asian. You guys she did. sent me the picture. Oh, well, congratulations! Yes. 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 Congratulations, yes. Tia yes. and Corey. We love yes. you guys. Take care of yourself, Tia. Yes. And Someone she's great. else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someone else who just had a baby girl is Khloe Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it looks like Khloe is going to try and work things out with her baby girl True's father, Tristan Thompson. The couple was spotted having lunch Friday in Cleveland, and Chloe also showed up to support Tristan at the Cavaliers playoff game Saturday night. According to People.com, Chloe is, quote, focused on keeping her family together and that there's currently no talk of a split. Ladies, a lot of Chloe fans are mad that she's taken back the dirty dog. <laughs> should they respect her decision? What do you think? Yeah. I, I think yeah. you should absolutely respect it. You don't got to agree with it. Yeah. But you have to respect it. Why? Because it's... Her, Her life. life. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And like, it doesn't affect you personally. Um, um, it's being reported that what she's doing is, especially on her Instagram, is she's removing or deleting comments if people are talking bad about her baby daddy. So, you know, well, I mean, she's trying to save her family. Yes. Yeah, and you I know? think when yeah. you have... I think when you have a baby or a child involved, you innately want to do the best thing for your family. Yeah. Right. And I think sometimes um, in these type of situations, when the public sees you move on, hopefully the public will move on as well. Right, right. But this is her life. Yeah, yeah. She's making the decisions. Yeah. So you, you do. And you have to respect I that. I just want to say, it's been reported that, you know, she believes, it's reportedly, that um, he was set up. That it was a trap, but you know what? You, you ain't got to fall into trap. You trap my man, then that ain't my man. Yeah. 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 You can trap my man, then that ain't my man. Well, yeah. but I mean, I'm just saying, she feels like that was a setup. That you makes know, it better, and but that doesn't change. How, how but do you that's why she was able it. to forgive him. What are you him talking more? about? Like you trip and fall on some other chick's body? How does that happen? Hey, yeah. hey, you know things happen okay, in Hollywood. Okay. Anyway, things but happen. I will say this: for one of the highest profile uh, families out there. Um, I give it up to her to try to break the Hollywood standards of breaking up and actually trying to work it out. Also, I think that when, when moms, at least my friends, when you just had a baby, you go through so much emotional turmoil. Yeah, that it's the hormones. It, yeah, it's the hormones, and you're just adding more trauma if you add also a heartbreak onto mm. that. So I applaud her for staying in it. I also think, though, that when it comes to finding love, you have to lose your fear. And to stay in love, you have to lose your ego. And what I mean by that is, no matter how long Chloe and Tristan try to work it out, as long as you don't have fear involved in it, meaning, i.e., fear of not being able to get better, fear of not being able to find the love life that you want, fear of not being able to bounce back, or the ego of, yo, like, I, you know, he's married to, he's with me, he gave me this baby, I'm gonna keep him, I'm gonna hold on to him. If you have those two ingredients in there, it could really destroy your relationship. So 
I think that as long as there's a confidence in there to rebuild and renew, it'll be better than to have any fear or ego involved. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I mean, mean saving face and just right. doing it to yes. prove a point is saving. not smart either. That's well, it. yeah, and that's yes. true. And what you need is trust. And I don't know if that's, you know, that's yeah. for him and her to deal with. Well, that but has to rebuild. You have to have trust. And you got to know that he ain't going to go out on you while you um, in labor again. So, you know, we, we wish you yeah, better. I want to see what our fans said. We asked what you thought of Chloe's choice to stay with Tristan, and at CurlyKK89 said, I don't think we really can judge. We only see what's on the outside. We don't know what goes on on the inside of their relationship. But hey, to each his own. Yeah. To each their own. Yeah. At Abrani Savoy said, even though she isn't married like B and J, her and Tristan bought, brought a life in this world together. So I'm sure she made the best decision for her and her daughter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, well, just, guys, I just have such a hard time with the do it for the your daughter. I know. I just yeah, I feel weird I about that because I think in the long run, what example are you setting to but that child? But what you won't have a hard time is we found somebody. Yes, we did. <laughs> you guys. Oh, yes. I'm being told someone may have found Marcel in Miami. Marcel, are you there? Are you there? Hi, guys. Ready? Hi. Yeah. One, two, three. Congratulations. What's your name? What's your Natasha name? Natasha from Houston. Hi, What's up? Natasha. Hi. Natasha. What are you doing in Miami? Yes. <laughs> um, we're just, me and my girlfriend, we just took like a quick vacation. <laughs> okay. Oh, dope. Well, well so this worked out for I'm you. I'm dying to figure right? out, how did you hear? How did you find out right away where Marcel was to get the sunblock? Oh, we were laying in bed in the hotel. Uh, we just turned the TV on like 10 minutes ago and <laughs> we were like, we have sunscreen, that's down the street, and so we just, I ran. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank you for watching us. So cool. So cool. <laughs> she did it fast, I know. No, Natasha. Well, Natasha, because you hurried to the hunk, <laughs> guess what? We keep our word here at the world, and you just won yourself a real swag bag and $1,000. <laughs> Natasha, how do you plan on spending the money? How do you plan on She's spending like, it? She's like, give me the yeah. money first. Uh, uh. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. I think she's gonna make it rain on me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now my boyfriend wouldn't like that. Oh. Oh, that's so that's cool. Well, oh my God. We're back to girl <laughs> chat. Here we go. Well, relationships can be complicated. Just ask Drake and Rihanna. Everyone dreamed of the powerhouse artist becoming a power couple after Drake's passionate speech about Rihanna at the VMAs in 2016. Remember watching that? Yes. yes. But sadly, it was not to be. In an interview for Vogue's June cover story, Rihanna opened up about her complicated relationship with Drizzy. Upon hearing his name, Rihanna reportedly winced and said, quote, we don't have a friendship now but we're not enemies either. Yeah. It is what it is. So ladies, Rihanna just broke a lot of fans' hearts. Do you think Drake blew it, or do you think Riri always, you know, kind of had him in the friend zone? I think during that time, I can remember when he made that speech. First of all, that speech was supposed to be about her accomplishments, not about you falling in love with her. So I can understand where she yes, was coming yes. from. She was you know? so uncomfortable. You could see <laughs> yeah. she was just standing like, there. Yeah, like, Lonnie, yeah. even though is he said all that, awkward? like, he went in for the kiss, and she gave right. him the cheek. Yeah, <laughs> that lets you know. Come on. You know? Because it's, cause it's being reported that Rihanna said that after her public you know, relationship with Chris Brown, yeah. she didn't want to have relationships out there like Public that. Like and that. I don't think that her and Drake were ever like that. I think they were good friends and everything, but you never, you know, it's like, yes. give her her just do as being an yes. artist yes. and a singer, not about, I loved her, but, I want to be Do you her. think, do no. you think Drake was like really, really, really in love? No. Yes. no. He was in love with everybody. So. Yes, I do. He was I in think love so. with Serena. No. He was no. in love, love with Rihanna. he was in love with a lot of people. I think it was Every different. He was some But this I did know Am I lying? Like Drake. He, how no. many women have y'all seen Drake with? And Nikki. Really? Yes, but I did see this though. He's a I lover. thought it was really cool yeah. that Rihanna <laughs> 
<laughs> Between friend or enemy, there's this nice sweet spot in the middle called maturity. Right. You don't have to hate somebody. You don't have to be best friends with them. But you can also be cool to be like, see each other, give each other, you know, the emoji with the straight line like this. <laughs> but she was not expecting and that. And that's you know? my whole point. It's like, I don't have a problem if he was in love with her. But, you know, that was her moment to shine as an artist, not as a relationship.